For this example, let's turn this small space into a kitchen. Many items, such as appliances like refrigerators or dishwashers, can be placed simply by choosing the component and placing it in the model. Let's open the component tool in the Home tab and place a dishwasher using the first floor plan view. Now let's find an appropriate refrigerator and place that in the model. Finally, let's choose a sink and place the sink into the model. Now we will switch to 3D view and it is easy to see that we have a good start to our kitchen. However, at this point in the process, it may be necessary to make custom fitting components such as countertops in order to complete the model. To make custom components, open the Model in Place tool. Now let's search for a family category that fits the component we are going to make. We can select Show Categories from All Disciplines for more options. Since we are making a counter, let's choose Furniture Systems. Now we will name the new component. Let's call it Kitchen Counter. Now in this mode, notice that we are unable to select any other components that are in the model. We are now ready to create forms for our model in place component. Once we are in the in place editor, we can select a type of form that we want to create. We can choose extrusion, blend, revolve, sweep, sweep blends, or void form. To make the countertop, let's make an extrusion. To create an extrusion, start by sketching the footprint of the extrusion. Remember, extrusions don't have to come up from the ground. Instead, we can choose a new work plane and make the form come out from the wall. Using the same form, we can make two unconnected extrusions that follow the same properties, like this one around the sink. When the sketch is complete, we can set the properties of the extrusion. We will set the top to be 3 feet and the bottom to be 2 feet 10 inches high. This will give us a 2 inch thick countertop. We can also choose the material. In the materials dialog, let's choose a tile countertop. When we are finished, we can select the green check mark to complete the form. And in a 3D view, we can more clearly see the form that we have just made. If we are happy with the model in place component, we can select the finish model in order to exit the in place editor. We are now able to select other components again. We can also select the component we just created and make minor changes like adjusting the extents. To make major edits to a model in place component, select it and choose edit in place, which will take us back to the edit in place mode. Once we are in this mode, we can select the extrusion form and edit that. You can now see that it is important to realize that a single component is made of many different forms, and each form is edited separately. For this extrusion, let's change one of the boundary lines to create a curved countertop.
When finished, select the check mark to complete the form. And we can switch to a 3D view to see this change. Since we are still in the InPlace editor, we can also add new forms to the component. Let's start by adding a base to the sink's countertop. Sketch the footprint. and set the properties. This time, we'll want the base to go from the ground to the bottom of the countertop. Let's also change the material and pick a wood finish for the base. When we are finished, we can select the green check mark to complete the form, and in the 3D view, we can see our new extrusion. Once again, we are still in the in-place editor, so let's go ahead and add a sweep to the edge of the countertop. First, we will pick a path for the sweep. Let's select the edges of the counter. Then, we will select the green check mark when we are finished sketching the path. Now to make it easier to draw the sketch, let's change the view to look straight on to the crosshair. Next, select Edit Profile, or we can also load in a profile. This opens all of our drawing tools, and using the drawing tools, we can sketch a profile that will be swept along the chosen path. After making a closed loop sketch, we can change the sweep properties, such as giving it a material, and when finished, select the green check mark. Since we have now selected a path and drawn the sweep profile, we can select the next green check mark to complete the sweep. Now let's change our perspective to more clearly see the sweep we have just created. If we are satisfied with the component, we can select the green check mark to exit the in-place editor.